My name is Arta Kwam, and I am an elementary reading teacher in Wichita, Kansas. In this lesson, I am going to show you how I teach rhyme production to early childhood students. After students have mastered recognizing rhyming words, I want to move the students to rhyme production. Production is making and generating the rhymes themselves. I would give the students the word cat. They would need to swap the onset k for another consonant sound or sounds such as b. The students would sound out b at, making the new word bat. Another example would be full at, making the new word flat. Cat, bat, and flat are all rhyming words. One activity to practice generating rhymes is a fill-in-the-blank activity. I would start by reading pairs of sentences, one complete and the other ending with a missing rhyming word. In doing this, I make sure to use sentences with words that are familiar to students. I might say, I found some grapes, a whole big bunch. I think I'll eat them for my, and the students would respond, lunch. Sometimes if students are struggling with generating the rhyming word, I will give them the onset and the rhyme and have them put the parts together. For example, if they can't think of the word lunch, I would say, how about ol unch? What's the word? And the students would say, lunch. The rhyming words at the end of the two sentences are bunch and lunch. Let's try another one. My mother's ring is very old. It's made of silver and of, I pause and wait for the students to respond. Together they say, gold. The rhyming words are old and gold. Let's practice one more. My teacher said to sit up straight and ask us all to count to, and the students say, eight. The rhyming words are straight and eight. And I would continue with a total of five to seven words. I might need to include this section in my lessons for a week or so until students are efficient at it. I would make sure to use different categories, such as types of fruit, insects, or colors. After practicing these orally together, then I would move on to having students generate rhyming words on their own. We would practice this by doing the next activity. As a teacher, I say, cat. Then students take turns giving me rhyming words for cat. After I say the initial word, I will give them think time. This is very important, making sure they all come up with their own word. And then I would ask them to show me a silent thumbs up when they have a rhyming word and are ready to share. Then I would randomly call on students. They might say, bat, hat, slat, jat. Remember, these do not have to be real words, but they do need to rhyme. And having the students take turns, it gives me a chance to quickly assess their skills. After we have practiced a few days with adequate think time, I might move on to having students share rhymes with their shoulder partner, the person they are sitting next to. I would say, mop. The students would think and then share with their shoulder partners. I would make sure to have them look at me when they are finished sharing. That way, I know they have all had a turn. Let's practice another one. I say dog. Then the students take turns listing rhyming words for dog, hog, log, jog, fog. The goal being that when they have mastered rhyme production, they can give me a rhyming word for any word I give them. These are some ways I would teach rhyme production to early childhood students.